Hi, we are at the Intergeo show, uh, currently at the Trimble Planix uh, demonstration area. I'm here with a product called Tim's Indoor Mobile Mapping Solution. Why we call it a solution? We have the whole set of hardware with a spherical camera, with a LiDAR sensor, with the control unit, the storage. This can be used to collect data for indoor environments, for BIM needs, or for cases such as situational awareness for the SWAT teams and many more. So we spoke to Franco from the Eplanix team and he's what he had to say. So here is the brand new TIMS indoor mobile mapping system. We have a 360 degree camera on the top which provides a panoramic view at all times. We have a Faro LiDAR scanner which provides a line scan capturing over 270 degrees in a 3D environment. We have your heads-up display, which provides a real-time operation, advising the operator of what's happening. We have the central computer inside. All the batteries are inside, which provides the power to the system. We have the two wheels, which monitor curvature and the speed of the cart as it's moving forward. And all the data is collected, and it gets stored inside inside the hard drive here down the right. These are the batteries that provide the power for the whole unit, so everything is self-contained and operates off the batteries only. So basically, after t there's a ground control point on the ground where the X is, you would place the cart over top of the ground control, survey ground control point. You will initialize the system for 20 minutes. Once the 20 minutes have passed, you can then proceed to scan the building. If your building is in excess of 50,000 square meters, sorry, 50,000 square feet, you will need to have two ground control points, one on one side of the building, one on the opposite side of the building. That is a bare minimum. The amount of ground control points vary on the size of the building and the complexity of it. On here, the dashboard provides real-time information this tells you all the images that are being captured. This is controlling the LiDAR scanner, and this controls the information regarding the IMU, the walking speed of the cart. There's also some warning sensors in case you're walking too fast, or if there's an error message, it'll pop up and be displayed here for the operator. The optimal speed is walking speed. So it's about one meter per second, one, one and a half meters per second. There's no way to show you the data. The data is being stored into a computer. What you see here is the images changing, but all that information gets stored down below because it's on the record button. But if I move the cart, the images are, moved, are captured at every meter. So six images are captured at one meter. I've quickly loaded into an LAS viewer as you can see, you have a three-dimensional object, which is the building of a planix. You're allowed to zoom in and observe what was captured by the TIMS card. So from here, you can take this point cloud and bring this into any uh, AutoCAD, Revit, MicroStation, Trimble Realworks. And then from that, you can model the data, creating a, a walls, doors, windows, objects such as um, desks, tables, piping, various objects can be created. Definitely one of them is BIMS, Building Infrastructure Management, Situational Awareness, where you can go in, scan an airport, provide a quick reference of what was captured, because there's also the imagery that comes out of the TIMS, and then you have MEP.